I sit here? Is it? Is anybody sitting here? Do you mind? It's, it's just really crowded in here today. Yeah, I'm not going to be here long. What are you doing? Oh, crossword. Oh, I'm terrible at those things. I'm telling you, I... You know, I think probably out there in the world there are at least 500 crossword puzzles that I've done like two entries in, and then that's, you know, I end up getting frustrated and I feel stupid and I throw them away. But you're doing good. You've got all kinds of stuff in there. What? What is that? I don't mean to interfere. I'm just, no, not your salad. I'm looking at, what is that? Turbinophene. What? How would you even know what that was? I... I can't even spell it. Of course, it's upside down. I'm sorry. I'm bothering you. I'm sorry. Uh, no, well, I didn't think I was going to get a lunch today. I know. That's what I said. That is what I said. He came to me this morning. He came running in there. I'm not saying anything in front of her. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Yeah, it's good to see you. I never see you because I never get up there anymore. Yeah, well, it's good to see you too. Yes, you got to dash off. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. I see, I don't get her. I do not get her. Exactly. I, I knew for a fact. I knew for a fact that she just had her evaluation a month ago. Why is she still hustling around here? There's no need for that. <laughs> the evaluation's over, sweetheart. You can slack off a little bit now. <laughs> Look how she's running off back to work. How long has she been in here? I mean, I just got in here. I don't know. Oh, well, I, I know. I, I don't mean to bother you. I'm not trying to bother you. But I guarantee you she wasn't in here 10 minutes. Doctor ran back upstairs. Mm-hmm. No, she is not that busy. I know she's not. Well, I guess when you work for the boss, you have to you have to be on your toes, right? Mm, yeah. Well, that's one way to that's one way to put it. Well, you you know what's going around, don't you? He's getting divorced. Yes, he is. Mm hmm. I heard it. I heard it on the elevator. No, uh-uh. No, Tracy told me. The receptionist, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's getting divorced. I don't know. They've been married like 15 years. They got four kids. He, no, uh uh-uh, uh girl. He is leaving her. Mm-hmm. And all you got to do is put two and two together. You see how she hustles off like that? You know what I heard? Mm -mm, no, what I heard was... You know, Tommy, he works, yeah, he works downstairs. Tommy said he just happened to go into the, um, the janitorial closet. No, not up here. I'm talking about down on the second floor. He just happened to go in there because he was, no, he was looking for a mop. I don't know, they spilled something in the mailroom and they were in there together. I'm serious. Him and her. His secretary, it is such a cliche. It is such a freaking cliche. Well, he's a walking cliche anyway. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't doubt it. I mean, that's what she's rushing back for. No, she has, she's not that busy. Trust me, she's not that busy doing actual work. Oh, she's doing something all right, but it ain't working. <laughs> she's not doing anything for the company, I tell you that. Mm-mm. Right, my fries have done stuck to my pan. I got this downstairs. That was so good. Girl, like half of it in the elevator coming up here. I was starving. Well, normally I don't have to have those reports done till Friday. But see, yeah, he's been really grouchy lately. Been real grouchy. And it's, a, it's his divorce, I'm telling you. Because see, he's always fine with it. He's always fine. He says, oh, don't worry about it. You know, you can get it to me Friday. If you don't get it to me till Monday, it's no big deal. And he came running in my office this morning about ripped my head off. Mm-hmm. 
And you know what I almost wonder? I wonder if them two didn't have like a little lover's quarrel. Well, no. See, after... Well, after Tommy caught him in the broom closet, they kind of stayed apart for a while, which makes sense. And that's what makes me believe what Tommy said. Because there for a while, they hardly even spoke to each other. Well, I would know. I mean, yeah, I go up there all the time. I have to take up reports, and I have to use their scanner a lot because ours keeps messing up. So I am right there. I'm like right down the hall from them. And used to be you would hear him talking and laughing, and she would laugh at all his stupid, stupid jokes. And that's how you know. I mean, I can understand, you know, when the evaluation's coming up. I understand trying to butter him up a little bit, you know, and you you act like you're actually interested in listening to them and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I can kind of see that before the evaluation is done, but from once they sign off on it, all that crap goes out the window. But she kept doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then one night she said she had to work late on his boat. What is that about? How stupid does she think we are? I had to work late on his boat. I know, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. Now, why he would leave his wife and kids for that kind of person? She's half his age. Oh, oh at least. I mean, she's... Oh, I don't know. How old do you think he is? 50? And she's about 22? Mm-hmm. Man, his wife's going to clean him out. I wonder if she thought about that. You know the only reason she's just drooling over him is because of his money. It's certainly not his personality. God almighty. He's got the personality of a busted coat hanger. I mean, I don't know how anybody can talk to that man. Well, you know how he does. He tells those stupid jokes and he just stand back and look at you waiting for you to laugh because she's got him spoiled because she laughs at all his stupid jokes. So I guess in her mind, in her stupid little 22-year-old mind, they're going to run off together and live happily ever after. Only problem is his wife is going to clean him out and they've got four kids. Pfft. He won't have nothing by the time they get done. He's not going to have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. So now, don't let me bother you. I, I know you're trying to do your crossword puzzle and enjoy your salad. What kind of salad you got? Oh, what's in that? I'm not going to touch it. I'm just I'm just pointing at it. Oh, that's grilled chicken. Where'd you get that? I've been wanting to go there. Although I heard somebody found a latex glove in their burger. Did you hear about that? Well, the whole thing might have been a setup. I don't know, but... Um, I've been hearing good things about their food, but that latex glove thing kind of threw me off a little bit. And what's in that? Oh, cranberries. Mm-hmm. The only bad, a bad thing about cranberries is they get stuck in your teeth. But they're good for you. Yeah, I know. So you've got like whole cranberries in there. Doesn't that make it kind of tangy? No, I'm sorry. I'm, I keep telling you I'm going to leave you alone. I'm, I'm going to leave you alone. Come here. Come here. No, come here. Well, I'll catch up with you later, okay? I'll see you later. Okay. And what's she doing in here? Didn't they let her go? No, Margaret. She's gone. I can talk about her. Margaret. Back turn and look. There she goes. She's going out the door. You remember her? Didn't she work in accounting or something? Now, I could have sworn they let her go. What about that last round of layoffs? You remember? I swear, I think it was about a year ago. What is she doing in here? All these people coming in here today. It's like a weird office version of this is your life or something. When I see that, oh, they've let a couple people in accounting go. 
they're not making a big fuss about it. They haven't sent out an email or anything. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, no. Now, I had not heard about that. I heard they let Shelby go. Mm-hmm. Shelby, remember that little short girl? You know, always had a different pocketbook every day. Yeah. Well, okay, now they let her go, and I kind of understood that because she was the last one that they hired. So it kind of makes sense that she would go, I mean, if they're looking to eliminate people. But and that girl, I was talking to Gloria. Let me tell you what she told me. She said that she's seen this before, okay? What they do is they come in, especially with the counting people, and they let a bunch of them go. And that's what's happening here. And they keep it all hush-hush, like they don't want everybody to find out. Only we do. We find out about it. And then everybody talks about it, and then everybody speculates endlessly about what it means. They let Shelby go, the little girl with the pocketbooks. Gloria said they've talked to her about cutting her hours back, and she's worried about that. Well, she just bought a house. She said, I can't afford that right now. She told me. See, she used to work at Inatech, and she said, you know what they do? They quietly let a bunch of the accounting people go, and then that's when they do a merger. They don't talk about it in advance, but when they're getting ready to do a merger, they, yeah, they get rid of the accounting people because the company that they merge with, sometimes they want to bring in their own accounting people. They don't want to use yours. They want to use their people. Mm -hmm. So they let a bunch of them go. Sometimes they let them all go. They keep a few just to keep things going until the merger is complete. And then they'll let the other ones go. She said that's what happened to her. And that's how she ended up here. Well, what have you heard? Have you heard anything? Because they are not talking. No, he's not talking. Well, he's too busy dealing with his divorce and his little girlfriend to worry about that. Um, well, they let the director of accounting go. They let him go. Remember that? And they sent out just that one-line email. See, that's the first step. That's what Gloria told me. She said that's the first thing they do. They start letting accounting people go. And my God, he'd been with the company 20 years. And then one day, all of a sudden, he's gone. There's no explanation, no nothing. He's just gone. Well, I heard they're going to make an announcement about the middle of this month. They can't say anything right now because the, the, all the details aren't ironed out. But they're going to make an announcement about the middle of the month and tell us what's going on. Mm hmm Well, I think you'd be safe. I mean, you, you don't... I mean, you're, you're staff. You're not part of accounting. You don't work in IT. I mean, I think you'd be fine. I'm probably fine. I mean, you never know for sure, but we're probably going to be Okay. But Gloria's really worried about it. I know, because she said, I cannot afford. I cannot afford to lose my job right now. Christmas bonus? What about it? That's like three months away. Why are you thinking? No, I had not heard. Who told you that? Huh. No, I have not heard that. I've heard we're going to get the standard bonus that we always get. But now, if they're talking about a merger, it may not happen. We may just get a severance package. <laughs> a severance package and a Jelly of the Month Club membership. <laughs> now, it's a scary thought. I don't want to see her start thinking about that. Oh, my God. Well, let's get back to you, food. You haven't even touched your salad. I'm not holding my fork close like I'm going to eat it. It does look good, though. You going to eat it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> sort of. Are you going to eat that? That's just a beautiful salad. Look at all the color in there. What is that? 
Is that radish? Is that a radish? Okay, that's what I thought. That's pretty. That's just a, that's just a lovely salad, you know. I'd almost not want to eat it because it's so pretty. You should go ahead. Don't let me bother you. You ain't made no progress on that crossword puzzle since I sat down. Why do you do those things? They make me feel stupid. It's kind of like watching Jeopardy. Do not make you feel stupid? I always feel stupid. And I end up turning it off because it depresses me. Like what the, right here, what this blank now? This blank right here, you got most of the letters already. Why don't you fill that one in? Well, I don't know what it is either. What's the, what's the, what's the clue? Who would know that? Nobody knows that. That's a stupid question. Just try to figure out whatever word would fit there. It's probably fine. Well, if we have that merger, we might not even have a Christmas party this year. Remember what we did last year? That was so fun. That was a good idea. Whose idea was that? That's what I thought. She has the best ideas. I really like the whole casino thing that they did downstairs. That was cool. Now, that was cool. If they would do that every year, that'd be fantastic. You know, have like the blackjack tables set up and the slot machines. I enjoyed that. Well, except... Well, she complains about everything anyway. You know how she is. She walks around with a dark cloud hanging over her head. We'll leave it to her to complain about that. Who cares if you gamble at Christmas time? Nobody but her. I remember what Paul did. Girl, everybody saw that. I heard somebody had some pictures of it up on Facebook not long after that. But they took them down because they were scared of getting fired. I don't even see how Facebook let them put those up. I mean, he had no pants on. And very loose boxers. That's why. <laughs> Not that. I think I saw the picture one time before they took it down. Well, that's what you get. See, and that's, that was part of the problem. When you have an open bar, I mean, you always end up with one guy like Paul that just overdoes it. I already started drinking about 3 o'clock that afternoon. <laughs> No, I paced myself. Uh -uh. I didn't start till about six. No, so here's a good example of why you don't do stuff like that at company parties. Well, I don't know where he got the goat from. That's still a mystery to me, and I am not asking. But if they do, if they go through with the merger before the end of the year, that may not happen. I mean, we we may not even be here, so it may not matter. <laughs> no, my evaluation is not till February. Mm -hmm. Who? Oh, girl, she's a mess. I don't care about that. She said, What about me? She didn't say that. Mm -mm. I don't believe she would say that about me. Does she even know what that word means? Why would she call me a trollop? A, a trollop with who? What was I doing? That's the FedEx. Do you know who that is? That is the daggum FedEx driver. She thinks I've got the hots for the FedEx driver. Well, if I did, I wouldn't be the only one here. Have you seen him? Oh my God. She's just mad because she's married and she can't have him. No, I've not been flirting with the FedEx driver. Now, if he flirts with me, I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know. I mean, I, I'm going to respond in kind. She's just mad because I can do that and she can't. It's not my fault. She's unhappily married. <sighs> well, now that would be a trip. And that's very possible, too. You know, she's been coming up here. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Travis said she, that he rode up in the elevator with her. Now, I don't know that I would recognize her. I know she always looks really well put together. And she carries around that little dog in her purse. I always wonder how she does that without it, like, pooping in there. But that's none of my business. But, um, yeah, 
I heard that she is seeing, she's got a lawyer upstairs in one of those offices upstairs. And she picked that lawyer simply because it's in his building. How embarrassing would that be for him? The boss's wife come in here to see her lawyer to divorce him because he is messing around with a 22-year-old. She's going to rub it in his face. She's going to do everything she can to smear him if he doesn't play. If he doesn't play along. Oh, I know she is. I know she is. Well, you would think somebody like him would know better. I mean, I thought he was smarter than that. I mean, he's, first of all, he's a jerk. And you, but usually when, when you have somebody who is a jerk, they're at least smart enough to not do really, really stupid things. But it's almost like he's a jerk and stupid. So we need to just like go throw him on, in a volcano somewhere because there's just no hope for him. He has no redeeming value at all. Well, he's not trying very hard to hide it. I mean, he did briefly after they got caught in that broom closet, but it didn't last. And she's so stupid anyway. I mean, she'll just, she'll just flaunt it around to everybody. Why don't you wind up having to leave here? Mm-hmm. They can't keep both working here. Not if they're public with their relationship. Well, I know a lot of it is speculation, but I mean, Tommy is a really good source. I mean, yeah, he's like a... Well, I don't know what he is. He's religious somehow or other, but he's not going to lie. And he swears up and down. He caught him in the broom closet. Yeah. And they acted like they were in there looking for gloves or something. I'm like, why would both of y'all be down here looking for gloves on the second floor? This is nowhere near where y'all need to be. So, um, they kept their distance for a little while, but then, you know, you know how silly she is anyway. He'll end up paying for his wife's lawyer. Guarantee you he will. Did you hear about the retainer fees they charge up there? They do not play up there. We're talking fifteen thousand dollar retainers up there. Mm hmm For divorce, especially one that's gonna be as messy as this one's gonna be. Girl, they charge big bucks for that. And say, well, no, see, he'll have to pay. I guarantee you she's going to ask that he pay for her lawyer because she's been a stay-at-home mom now since those kids were born. Oh, yeah, she has no income at all. None. So he's going to be paying alimony, child support. He's going to be broke by the time she gets done with him. And I'm going to make a prediction right now. I... Hey, how are you? Well, I see you're back awfully quick. You what? Um, I'm sorry, sweetie, no. I, I don't think anybody down here has eyeliner. I'm sorry, do you have any? No, we don't have any. No, okay, oh, all right, bless your heart. You... She's an idiot, she's a complete, she's a complete idiot. What is she even doing? Did you see that skirt? I swear to God, if she bent halfway, you would see everything under there. What, what does she think she's doing? She is such a ditz. I guarantee you. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you right now what's going to happen with her. He's going to leave his wife, which I think has already happened, or it's in the process of happening. His wife is going to get everything he's got. And then some for a long time because those kids are small. They're young and very small. And she doesn't work. Um, he's going to end up with nothing. He's going to lose everything, even that nice boat of his. Which I thought it was really, really classy of him to call it Poontang. What in the world? He is such a nasty man. Um, he's going to lose everything, including that nice boat. She's going to leave him as soon as she figures out, oh my God, this man has no more money than the Domino's driver I was dating last year. Yeah, so he's going to end up with nobody and his wife won't take him back because she's smart enough to know that he's a dog and he'll just do it again the next chance he gets. Because he is 
obnoxious. He's a horrible person. He's really stupid. Nobody wants that in their life, especially if there's no money to be had. You can't even get a gold digger if you're like that. I mean, you know, if you got money, it doesn't matter how awful you are. You can always find some gold digger out there to take you. He will have nothing when she gets done. Mm. Look over there. Just do it casually. Just kind of do it like that. Like you're stretching. Look at Clara. Just see that. She's got on a Christmas sweater. Isn't it October? Like October 4th? Oh, Lord, and it lights up. Look, oh, jeez. It's a light-up sweater. You know this place is going to be full of Christmas sweaters pretty soon. Yeah, well, if we're still here. I don't know what's going to happen either. I mean, all we can do is hope for the best, really. I guess these days that's all anybody can do. Just hang in there and hope for the best. <laughs> Unless you're like Ditz. I don't know what she was doing in here looking for eyeliner like crazy girl. There is no... There is no... T I don't even want to speculate what she needs eyeliner for or why she would come in the break room looking for it. She is not playing with a full dick. Bless her heart. Well. No, I know. I got to get back upstairs. I got to do those reports because he's, well, he's been fussing about them. He came into my office first thing this morning screaming for him, And I said, but Bill, we don't normally do that until Friday. He said, well, I want it today. I want it now. Rrr. And I guarantee you, him and that bimbo just had a falling out and he needed to take it out on somebody. So, I better get back because I guarantee you he's already been in my office twice looking for me. So, um, will you enjoy your salad? Because you can actually eat now because I'm going to start running my mouth. <laughs> it does look really good, but it's going to wilt if I don't shut up and let you eat. Enjoy your crossword puzzle and everything. And, um... Yeah, oh, we'll catch up sometime. Yeah, we will. We'll catch up. Um, what about next week? Monday? Hey, maybe we can go to the restaurant together. We just have to check each other's food for... Yeah. <laughs> just make sure there's nothing in there that's not supposed to be. Uh, we'll do that. Okay. Well, you enjoy, and I will see you later.